Hello everyone, myself Dr. Sachin Sekhar Biswal. I am working as a medical oncologist at Manipal Hospital, Bhuvaneshwar. Uh, today we are here to talk about World Neuroendocrine Tumor Day, which is celebrated all over the world on 10th of November every year. Uh, we take this time, we take this opportunity to uh, discuss about neuroendocrine tumor. It is a very special type of tumor. It is uh, deemed as a, a rare tumor. Uh, we, it uh, became, it came to limelight after some celebrities were diagnosed with neuroendocrine tumor and they got cured with proper treatment. As we know, neuroendocrine tumors are very slow growing. So, when the patient becomes symptomatic and consults a doctor for the first time, the patient is usually in an advanced stage. The neuroendocrine tumors entirely are divided into two types. One of them which produces hormones and the symptoms are due to excessive hormone productions are called as functioning neuroendocrine tumors and the tumors that do not release any hormones are known as non-functioning tumors. Functioning tumors are detected relatively early due to the secretion of hormones. For example, insulinoma. It is a tumor which produces excess insulin and the patient suffers from recurrent attacks of hypoglycemia. So, this is detected a little bit earlier. Other neuroendocrine tumors might be detected at a later stage of uh, the disease. The good thing about neuroendocrine tumors is that it responds to treatment very well. It is very slow growing. So despite having an advanced stage, the patient's life expectancy is usually not hampered. Uh, the, with proper treatment, the patient's quality of life remains good and uh, the treatment of neuroendocrine tumors uh, constitutes of uh, uh, injections that reduce the hormone secretions and uh, control the disease for a long time.